we had a way we were doing things, you know, we had a way of how we produce a soccer game or a volleyball game or a football game, and there was the way that ESPN wanted us to do it, and we had to spend the summer and throughout the year finding a middle ground, finding a way that would work for us and for ESPN. We're not going to be able to do 12 cameras for every football game. We're not all going to get Viz graphic systems to support every broadcast. That's not going to happen. We knew the reality we had, and ESPN was amazing in, in meeting us halfway. Um, John mentioned um, AJT. We use AJT systems for many of our graphics, and ESPN was very helpful in making sure that we had graphics built in there. But we're the Ivy League, and so sometimes we have three or four or five or six or seven or eight games going on at once, and we're not going to have eight different AJT systems or Ross Expressions or Viz. We, sometimes we just need flattened graphics. We need graphics that can be run in live text or through Photoshop, or it could be put into a black magic switcher or anything like that. Um, and ESPN was great in getting those graphics to us, but it's been an ongoing process. You know, we, fo fic we focused on fall sports early on, but then we had winter and we needed hockey graphics, and then we had the spring and we needed baseball graphics and lacrosse graphics and rowing graphics. And so it's been an ongoing conversation throughout the year to make sure that the graphics and the transmission and everything else don't have any kind of fall off because we didn't think to prepare for softball while we were working on soccer in the fall. It's what's coming up next, how do we stay ahead of it, and, and what do we need? Um, same with transmission, John mentioned transmission. You know, ESPN historically liked fiber transmission or uplink trucks. Again, that's not practical when you have eight games going on at once, and regardless, we're never gonna have an uplink truck roll into campus that's too expensive. What can we do there? We have a very robust IP system. Can we use point-to-point -point IP transmission? Can we use RTMP streaming for some of the sports that are not out of a control room? And how do we get more and more venues online as we work towards baseball and softball and rowing, which is on a river? How do we get connectivity there? How do we work through that? So ESPN has been great in um, staying on top of these and working with us to make sure that, that we don't forget anything as the seasons progress.